G'day guys, Gunnar Russ back once again. Well, I just got home from the old house, been working on some renovations uh, there, uh, getting it ready to be sold. And I got home to an awesome parcel waiting for me at the door. And this parcel has come from my good friend, TJ Beam, who I've been good friends with for a number of years. I'm gonna leave the link to his channel in the description. He hasn't done anything, any content for a couple of years, but it's still worth checking out. But yeah, he reached out to me on Facebook and said, hey dude, I've got some games that I think would be worthy of your collection. And I was just super thankful to him. And I'm so <laughs> excited to open, open this up. But TJ Beam has been a great friend and has hooked me up with so many cool things in the past. But let's open this up. I'm gonna turn around and grab my Gundam cutters because for some reason I don't have any proper cutters at the moment. So we're gonna nicely just open this up. Oh, oh, I can already see this is like jam packed. And he, when we were talking on Facebook, TJ Beam basically said, like, do you have any um, PS3 you know, sports games? Uh, just says, you know, he wanted to cut down the costs of, you know, having to post this out. So and I was like, yeah, dude, I've got heaps of FIFA games to, uh, to fill these up with. Uh, so we've got a note here and it says, Rusty, enjoy, mate. Each case has two games. My original plan was to do a video on Jap covers versus power covers, perhaps an idea for your channel. Oh, well, I'm gonna talk about this. Uh, anyway, mate, stay safe, healthy, TJ. Um, <laughs> isolation donation, oh, dude, that's so cool. Thank you so much. Interesting you say that, mate, because I actually, I'm trying to think of the channel, but I, I came across a channel a couple of weeks ago who did just that and they were comparing the different covers from you know Japan and PAL and NTS in America as well, which I thought was a really cool idea. So for you, my friend, I'm definitely going to be making that video. Um, and oh, I just cannot thank you enough for this package. This is huge. All right, so let's open this up. So I hope everyone has been doing well out there in the land of, well, the land of the world. I know everything is tough at the moment. Um, here in Australia, things are starting to get a bit better. In the state that I'm in, we've only had you know one sort of case issue in the last so many weeks, so everything seems to be going quite well. All right, so wow, dude. First of all, like thank you so much for this, and thank you for packing these so much, like, so well. This would have taken like a freaking couple of hours to do all this. This is so good. Alright, so to start off with guys, oh wow, oh dude, this is so, oh my god, it's sealed as well, <laughs> oh god, so we've got Dark Siders, the Japanese edition, wow, this is awesome, you know what, my girlfriend Jess is going to be jealous of this, because well, it's not going to be jealous, because she'll be able to look at it anyway, but she's a big fan of Dark Siders, so this is so cool, and I've Oh man, I've, I can already see this really cool video that you just suggested. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And then we've got Bionic Commander. Wow! Holy hell! That's so cool. Now he said he's put a couple of games inside each case. So we've got... Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So we've got Injustice, God Among Us. So I think he's... I'm pretty sure from what TJ was saying, he's actually put the covers in separately, if I remember right. Well, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. And then we have, oh, Shadow of the Damned. Look at that, that's so cool. I really love just the differences with, you know, all the spine work and the artwork on all the Japanese covers. It is amazing. Dark Rising 2, wow, guys. These are still the little bits of paperwork that are inside these. Oh! That is not what we want to hear. <laughs> what the heck? And we've got dead. Oh my god, look at the. Look at. I'm going to do a close up picture of this. Look at that image of like a yak sort of thing uh, on the Dead Rising 2. Wow, that's so cool. Oh my god. Check out the beauty that's on this case. She is looking nice. Dude, this is so good. So we have that one there. What else do we have? Oh yes. We have got a Gundam one here. Um, I do have this, but it is always nice to, to have these in the collections. This is another Century R, and inside he has put um, a copy of, oh, there looks like, it's the White Knight 
is it White Knight Chronicles? I can't remember exactly. Um, and he's put the, he's got the cover in there as well. He's got the paperwork. Dude, this is so good. It's always, it's always like hard trying to do these sort of live videos because it's like, I'm always very scripted, but um, this is just so good. Oh, sorry, you yeah, know, this has been, this has been what I've been wanting to get for quite some time, so I'm really appreciative of this, but this is so new translation, and wow, look at the, oh my god, look at the cover. This is so good. And we've got Yaba Ninja Gaiden Z. Oh, wicked dude, seriously. This is so cool. I'm gonna neaten these all up later on, but wow. That is great. And then we continue. Oh man, <laughs> you have spoiled me so much, man. Silent Hill Downpour. Have a look at the cover on that, guys. Wow. I love it. Oh, no way. He's put Folklore in here. Now, if you guys don't know if the Folklore title is a very sought after game, it's more. It's more rare and expensive in the power region, but the Japanese one is one I don't have, so I'm really happy to have that. Um, that is so cool. And, oh, I've seen what he's done here. I feel really silly. And I think he did explain this to me. So basically what he's done is to, um, you know, not have to s spend so much on packaging. He's actually put the um, cover art behind uh, each of these cases. So we might have a quick go at that. So I'll just be very careful because I don't want to try and damage anything. So there we have it. Let's have a look, see what's got behind the, the Gundam one here. Wow, oh there it is. So cool. Oh my God, TJ, you have been bad, my friend. <laughs> You've been bad. Look at the mess I'm creating here. I wonder what this, oh, I reckon this is going to be so cool, this Dead Rising 2 one. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. Whoa, look at that. Oh my God. Do you know what? After, uh, right at the end of this video, I'm going to try and show you guys a picture of all the games together. But this is just so cool. It probably would have been better if I remembered that the other cases were, the slip cases were behind the other ones. And he did say that to me, but you know what? I'm getting old. I forget things. Look at that. Oh, look at the Injustice cover. Frick. Dude, this is so cool. And then to finish off here, guys, we have Infamous 2. Now, this is one that I've been wanting to get. I've got the first Infamous in Japanese version, but I didn't have the first version here. So that is so cool. I love... I can't wait to show you guys a video on the differences between the covers between power and Japanese and even American with some of the differences there. But, oh man, look at the cover, look at the artwork on that. This is so good, dude. And I think, oh, I think he has put the first infamous on here. Wicked, that is awesome. There we have it, there's the first infamous. Look at that, that is so cool. Always love the artwork of Japanese games. Well, 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 wow, dude, seriously, this is a lot of games. I wasn't, I wasn't even expecting this amount. Um, I knew that you, you always hook me up with some great stuff, but I was not expecting this amount of games. It's, oh my God, it's so good. I, I think I've said, oh my God, so many times, but TJ, dude, thank you for this. Um, I promise you, I will not dishonor you. I will bring out that video hopefully in the next, I reckon probably in the next month or so, I'll bring that up. I've got a little bit of a backlog of videos, but as uh, soon as I saw this package, I knew I had to jump in front of the camera and you know deliver this to you and the, the guys out there who are watching. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. These games here will play a big part in an upcoming video where we look at the differences between the Japanese and PAL release covers. So stay tuned for that. And I just want to make another big mention, a big thank you again to TJ Beam. Dude, thank you so much. It's made my day. All right, guys, as always, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, fools. See you later.